So this is one of my favorite uh, locations for a level in this game. And it kind of reminds me of Zelda a little bit. Is our bike wrecked? Damn it. That's how you know it's the end of the game. So yeah, we got Thunder Ryu here. Thankfully showing us the way. He's like the only way that we would be able to know to get through here. It's like the Lost Woods. And here's some guys. Which means time for an ass kicking. Hey, he's over here. So this is it, the final level. And we're fighting nothing but TIE fighter pilots. Because, yeah, Star Wars. This also reminds me, I talked about it before, but there was that Suda51, um... Samurai Champloo game. This reminds me of a level like very early on in that game. I can't believe I, I didn't dodge that correctly. Yeah, this is the only part about the Tsubaki Mark III that I really dislike. And that's how slow it is. I know I talked about that before, but I think it bears repeating that the Tsubaki is very slow now. But the trade-off is that you get to do really cool shit like that. Okay, so Thunder Ryu was here. I think he was pointing this way. I should probably start to pay more attention. And yeah, you can't really dash when you have the uh, beam saber out. Maybe I should have gotten the energy saving. Damn it, dude. Get out of here. I don't like the way that you are treating me, sir. Did he say remember me? No, I don't remember you, pal. Alright, so I go right this time. Well, they certainly aren't fooling around in this last level. These guys are much more difficult than before. Yeah, I don't- I really don't know what the- the whole, like, Star Wars motif in this game is, or with Beautiful Joe. Because the last level of Beautiful Joe is essentially, like, the Death Star. There's, like, there's TIE Fighter enemies. It's so strange. This game does kind of feel like a spiritual successor to Beautiful Joe. Which I'm fine with. Although I don't know, like, if I had to say this one gets a sequel, the other one doesn't, I really don't know which one I would pick. Because I like them both equally, you know, I don't... Do I like No More Heroes more than Beautiful Joe? I don't know, maybe. Do I like Beautiful Joe more than No More Heroes? Maybe. I have more nostalgia for, um, for Beautiful Joe. But this game kind of appeals to me more. I don't know. Hell yeah. Wait, which power up was it? There it is. Alright, hold on. Stop taunting. I like how his uh, beam katana turns red now. Is that it? No one else around? Yeah. I keep forgetting, now that I have the dash, I keep forgetting that I can't use it. You look like a Punisher villain.
Travis, that. Path of men is not path of beasts, you know. You know, your edge can be poison or cure. To be learned is the path. And to be ignorant is also the path. Your path, the path is that. A path that no one, nothing can pass. Yet the path reach on. Devotion is only given to those who perfect single thing. Reward, then. No reward those who do not perfect. Does a reward or just evil lie down your path? Fight until you die, Travis. Thunder Ryu. Interesting. Even in death, the guy makes literally no sense. Now we can run. Already? Travis, can you hear me? It's Sylvia. I never thought you'd make it this far. But I am sorry. I cannot see you anymore. I want to fly to your side right now. I want to be in your arms. I want to be with you. I want to share my life with you. No matter the cost. Meeting you, I felt truly alive for the first time. I mean that. But feelings and reality are two different things. Life is not that simple, yes? Now, be honest. Did you really think I would let you do me if you hit number one? You really are an idiot, aren't you, Travis? Come back to reality. I mean, look at yourself. You are a dopey otaku assassin. The bottom of the barrel. No woman would be caught dead with you unless she was a desperate bitch. Where in the world could you find a woman who could fall in love with someone like you? Well, one is right here. It was fun, Travis. I love you. Now, don't forget to use the restroom. Trust your force and head for the garden of madness. Man, she led us on this whole game. That's a bummer. But yeah, I guess who could who could ever love an otaku like us? I love how this time the bathroom is just in the uh, in the woods. It's such a good touch. Like they could have put a porta potty there, but no, it's just in the woods. So I guess let's finally let's finally do it. Let's finally face the number one ranked assassin, Dark Star. Hopefully he won't be that bad. Anything else around here? Did I miss anything? No wrestling move either, huh? It's very strange. Surreal being right at the end of the game. Welcome to my castle. I heartily receive you, my son. Thanks, Steve Bloom. All right. Enough with the jokes. A joke? You don't remember me, Travis. I am your true father. Blood does not make such mistakes. Jeez, you are full of it, aren't you? It's a good story. I'll give you that much. You see, this is just another story. Even if you were my father, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters here is who's best. Remember, son. Engraved into your memory is the night when everything changed. 
I fell to my feet right before my son's eyes. Do you not remember this? In my deepest memories, I hear someone calling. I remember. It was a hot summer day. There was someone standing behind my father and mother. That person killed my parents. The face, I can't make it out. Who are you? Remember. Who are you? Try harder. I think I can see it. Almost. Do you recognize the face? Now I remember everything. Well done, son. She was the girl you loved. You're still as gullible as ever, Travis. Think, why would he be your father? I guess you're right. I don't have a father, at least not anymore. You killed him, didn't you? Yes. And that's why you became an assassin. To kill me. Now I get it. All those fights. It was for this. I lost everything that I ever cared about. That bitch took everything. I can help you to get even. She's a good con artist, that's for sure. She set up some killer fights. So you and I finally meet. You should thank Sylvia. Jean, there's just one thing I want to ask you. Who are you? Me? You don't need to know. All of your trivial questions will be answered in the afterlife. Answer me! It's impossible. Impossible? What do you mean? It's too terrible. It alone would jack up the age rating of this game even further. So what? Who cares? What if the game gets delayed? You don't want this to become No More Heroes Forever, do you? All right. I'll fast forward this so you can tell me. Okay. I'll make it short and quick. You are my half-brother. You know that manga called Miyuki? The Japanese one? Well, it's like that. Your father abandoned my mother to run off with your mother. It broke her heart beyond repair. She killed herself. Knowing I had nowhere to go, she took advantage of me. Ever since I can remember, she molested me. We lived in this rotten apartment, and I was his slave. Every day I cursed his soul. I swore that I would kill him one day. The cursing didn't change anything. That's when I decided to become a killer. With no money to pay for training, I paid with my body. But you? I bet that son of a bitch looked like a hard-working family man. That was all an act. You didn't get too shit about cleaning up my life. So I decided to clean it up myself. That's why I do what I do. And I got what I wanted. Killing him in front of your very eyes. That's my story. Imagine that. You and I. Brother and sister. Now you see what I've been through? Maybe it had to be done. But vengeance begets vengeance. You're right. Go ahead. Draw, brother. All of your sorrows end today, Jean. So here we go. Fight with Jean. This fight's pretty difficult. And I'm not even like being being fake. There have been some areas where I'm feigning ignorance, where I'm lying because it's an anti-climax boss. This boss is tough. As it should be, really, so. Oh no, why would I pick that up now? That's dumb of me. She's the probably the fastest boss that we've fought so far. Uh, there aren't a whole lot of great opportunities to attack her. Uh, so, you know, it takes a lot of patience to beat her. Ow. And there's a lot of things that we could do to other bosses that we just cannot do to her. So, you know, she she's a very unique boss. I don't know why I keep falling for that. Every single time I stand right in front of her as she's doing that. This might be the first one that I just have to redo. But yeah, I mean... This is, uh, you know, it's one of those bosses that I do really enjoy. Where it's just a one-on-one -on -one fight, there's no real gimmicks. The only gimmick is that as the fight goes on in phases... 
there's uh, less of an area for you to work with. Like the giant pink dragon thing kind of closes in on you. That was the first like real good string of attacks I was able to get out on her. That's not great. So, one of the things about John is that you should not ever go up to her to uh, use a wrestling move on her because she will immediately break your arm and she'll damage you, so it's not very good. See, look at this. This is, this is so great. Yeah, the fight can take a little while just because of the fact that, you know, she's so damn acrobatic, she doesn't ever want to get hit. Which, obviously, I mean, she's a boss, why would she want to get hit? But it's, it's a long shot from all the other bosses we've fought in the game, who are pretty easy to, you know, get attacks out on. Damn it! Yeah, she's a, she's a tough cookie. Especially when it comes to those kinds of moves. And those. Ow. You know what this fight kinda reminds me of? It might just be the location, but it really reminds me of the Jetstream Sam fight in Metal Gear Rising. Look at that, she doesn't even, like, get hit by those moves. I doubt I will ever be able to get one of these attacks out on her. Whoops. I'll say, as a finale, between, like, my two favorite Suda51 games, this and Lollipop Chainsaw, good lord, this has a way better ending. Like, this fight is so much better than giant fat zombie Elvis. Go ahead. I'm the last one. So now her attacks get even more annoying and the arena starts to close in more, so... It's pretty cray-cray. It's about to get even more serious up in here. But it's one of those where if you've been, you know, playing the game throughout the entire thing, and if you, you're at least somewhat competent at the game, you're gonna you're gonna have a, a hard time of it, but you're not gonna you're probably not gonna die. <laughs> so yeah, instead of stunning her and then doing a wrestling move, just just stun her and keep doing it. Oh boy. Sorry about that. Once again, the Wii U component cables kind of freaked out on me there. It's not a fun feeling, especially not in the final goddamn boss. This is like the first boss where I'm actually going to have to go get health at some point. Alright, I'm going to get it now. Because this is the final phase and it's going to get probably even crazier. Hopefully the box didn't disappear. No, it didn't. Damn it. Let me heal. I would let you heal. Oh no, we want to get away from that. I love that he... Like, he's just sitting there. Like, he's just part of the boss arena. He's dead. She stabbed him through the goddamn dick. And also, I, I absolutely love the fact that Travis was buying his story, even though his parents are dead. I don't know what is happening now. The camera is bad now. Okay. Hold on. 
I got this. Well, now it's just a, a war of attrition. Who's gonna lose their health first? Probably me at this point. I really wanted to do this game without dying once, but now that might not happen. Damn it. Hold on. It's not over yet. It's probably over. Hold on. We got this. Just gotta... Gotta matador her a little bit. Treat her like a matador. Try and bait her into doing that. And then we should be fine. I just wish you didn't have to be so close to her when she does that. Yeah, this is probably the end for me. First death. I mean, hey, at least I made it to the end of the game, right? If I can still come out of this, I'd be really proud of myself, but it's just not gonna happen. There's another move that you can use that brings you kind of close to the character, uh, and kind of fills the gap in between you, which is usually a very useful move in these kinds of games, but I don't really think it's all that useful in this game. It's useful in very small situations. This is one of them, but it's still not worth it, I don't think. Because sometimes when she does that charging attack, uh, she can get a little too far away from you. Man, this is extremely disappointing. No! Oh, that was the most disappointing thing since my son. <sighs> I almost had her. If I had dodged that last attack, I would have had her. Hey, Travis. Everything's on the line here, boy. We've come this far together, Travis. You can't let me down right at the end. She knows how little health she has left right now. It's almost like she doesn't want to die. She's not doing any of her really easy to uh, counter attacks. 